when you're working behind the bar and your bottle gets down to just about two or three ounces, it's perfect to flip it. In this quick video, I'm going to show you a number of different ways to flare a bottle that just has two ounces in it and then bring it together into a sequence. Please enjoy this 2004 flashback of the Flareco videos. Flippin' Fridays celebrates the Flareco Flare videos from 2004. Each of these videos has over 70 minutes of flare training content. Now let's talk about bottles that just have a little bit of liquid in the bottom. Just two ounces or less in a bottle would allow us to flip the bottle upside down. So that point of the night where the bottle just has a little bit, now we can do a little bit more exhibition style flare and still apply it towards creating a drink. So we'll start off, I've got a little sequence plant here. I'm going to go into a pour, stop the pour, come under the arm, do a nest, and we're going to go again over the shoulder into a pour. Okay, so let's go through that. Coming up out of the well, I'm going to catch the bottle in a standard grip. I'm going to throw the bottle to the outside, so away from us, and it's going to do just one rotation around. And my hand, all my hand needs to do is go to the outside and turn back underneath so the bottle will come around. Let the bottle do the work. You don't need to reach and grab at the bottle. So here it goes, both turning the hand, catching the bottle into a pour. From there, one and a half to pour. Stop the flow on the other side. Come all the way around, big circle. All the way around, big circle into a standard catch. All the way around so we can catch it right here. Boom. Now from the standard grip that we've caught it in here, we have to go to a reverse grip so that we can grab our piece grip and go around to nest the bottle behind our back. To nest the bottle, we've got our piece grip. We're going to slowly throw it up behind us. We don't want a lot of rotation. It has to go nice and smooth, nice and slow so we can get underneath it with our shaker tin. Same move, piece grip. This time we're going over the shoulder into a pour. So we want to catch the bottle as it's going into a pour. Arm comes up, elbow comes up, and up. Watch for the neck as it comes around, catching it in your hand so we can catch that solid pour. Again, flicking the bottle, just like that. When you practice it, you can practice the timing of pour, nest, stall. So let's put the whole thing together. Standard grip, one and a half to pour. Stop the pour, around, changing to the reverse grip, up, into the nest, grabbing the nest with the piece grip, around, into the pour. Now let's try it with liquid. There's my bottle with just two ounces in the bottom, one and a half to pour. Stop underneath, catching the bottle with reverse grip, nest, and take the bottle out, finishing my pour. Flare that you can use behind the bar any given shift. Let's help spread the word. You can help spread the word simply by letting YouTube know that you enjoy the content. If you could just like one of the videos or set a notification and comment, say thank you, say, hey, that was a shitty video, whatever you want to do, but add a comment to the videos below. And last but not least, please subscribe. If you do any one of these four things, YouTube will say, hey, there's some interaction going on with these videos and spread them around the world to all the flair bartenders and other bartenders that are just looking for this style of content. YouTube will find them and deliver this to them. I'm Dean Sir Niels, and welcome to Flippin' Fridays.